Hello everybody, Sam Birch here with another Wool Peacekeeper action figure review. Today we're going to take a look at the Allies Army Infantry. This is a World War II lineup. New type of box. Click and play. Um, I found this on Amazon. Uh, not really much to say. I was uh, looking for the uh, first review for 2021 and I came across this guy. Um, believe it or not, on the World Peacekeeper website, these guys haven't showed up yet. So I'm a little curious. Um, is this a new lineup that they haven't put on their web page yet? And Amazon put theirs up first um, or what the deal is with this I mean it's a world peacekeeper figure like I said I found this on Amazon but when I went to world peacekeepers the MC McFarland toys I do believe um, correct me if I'm wrong but when I looked at that site the um, army man this lineup hasn't even showed up on their page yet so I'm a little curious if this is a brand new lineup. If it is, um, I'm glad to be the first person to post a review because I haven't seen anyone make a video of this figure yet. So, who knows? But let's just take a look at the figure. Now, this is an American soldier during the World War II era. Let's take a little look at his face. There you go. Some of the props he comes with. He comes with a helmet, a revolver, two pineapple grenades, a shovel, a uh, backpack, a little satchel it looks like, and a main backpack. For his main rifle, he comes with a uh, Thompson with a stick mag. It would have been cool if he had the drum mag, but the stick mag is what originally came with it. But there you go. Um, not a bad figure. Um, when I seen him on Amazon, I was just like, wow, I gotta pick it up. Because most of the time with the, uh, toy soldiers that I used to play with, or the action figures, it was mostly of these, uh, World War II era kind of figures. I do always remember that the World War II figures were the prop, the popular G.I. Joe lineup. But, yeah. So, uh, let's take a look real quick at the back. So here we go. So um, in this lineup, eh, let me zoom. There you go. So this is the whole lineup right here. So to in the middle is our American soldier right here. Then um, what I what I'm thinking, and I'm I, I hope I'm right. What looks like this guy right here um, kind of looks like a British fella. You know, kind of a British soldier, a British Brit. And then to the right, he has a German. Yeah, let's see. So, oh, actually, if you actually looked, Sam, you would have seen the names for all these figures. So this is a, uh, can't read them sideways. Parachute Regiment, Army Infantry, and a Waffen SS. I didn't realize the names were on the side. I've, I've never seen them like that, especially for the back lineup with the names all back here. So that's pretty neat. So, I mean, it looks like a new lineup. I mean, I'm really excited for this. I really want to collect all three of these. Uh, be really nice. But so far, the only one I can find is the American. The American soldier right now is the only one I can find. I would love to get a hold of this guy, and I would love to get a hold of this guy. A couple good reasons. Different types of guns. But, there we go. So, I mean, that's the whole box right there. Take one more look at the figure. I mean, I'm going to bust him out. But, there's the whole figure. I'm really excited to see how this goes. I mean, it doesn't look bad at all. Nice little setup. Nice get up. I mean, ideally, it's like when I said with the NBC uh, Marine Specialist 
this is kind of like they're like I don't know how to always put it because like the era of action figure and GI Joes that we usually got has been like you know World War II or Vietnam kind of era of soldiers but uh, I was really just plain to be saying is just that I was really happy with this outcome this little uh, new lineup to go with it I mean I'm still working on the same lineup that I have been but I was I just want to give variety to my viewers too and sometimes when I see something new or something different I always try to go for it cuz let's just be honest um, my major complaint I could say about the world peacekeeper with the lineup that I'm doing right now which I'm gonna call it the jungle forest and uh, desert lineup that's on the back of these boxes yeah my main complaint is just like it's always the same M16 assault rifle that comes with the figure but this guy comes with a different gun different get up different gear some gear that I haven't seen like a backpack this big if you realize it's the same one that my um, locker box guy came with shovel looks like it folds in but it's not like the EOD technicians shovel and this little satchel thing kind of looks like the one that the um, tunnel hunter came with but I don't see any ropes or anything with it and then a helmet and then a the revolver which it's just one big black piece of plastic, molded plastic. Not too bad. It's not detailed like that uh, golden revolver from the secret agent either. It's just one big black piece painted. Which isn't, I mean it's not too bad. I just can't wait to see how this figure looks out of the box. and um, So stay tuned for that. And So, fun fact, uh, if anyone wants to know, the revolver's uh, cylinder does rotate. There you go. So, yeah. <laughs> A little fun fact. So, personally, what do I think of the Allies Army Infantryman? Um, going over the clothes, the clothes aren't too bad. Just your basic olive green. Uh, standard suit the figure does come with a helmet which isn't too bad makes him look like you know a World War II soldier of that time and era so not too bad um, the uh, Thompson is what he comes with with his main assault rifle and the cool part is is uh, this clip does come out so if you get this the Thompson stick mag does come out of the revolver I mean not out of the revolver but out of the machine gun itself so that's just a little FYI for anybody I mean really honestly this the outfit and the gimmick of this character is pretty good I like it I mean he comes with standard stuff like a backpack, a satchel, and whatnot, a shovel, and two hand grenades. Which I already said that about that in the intro. But I mean, honestly, uh, not a bad get up, huh? Not too bad, not too spiffy either. Wasn't really a whole lot to argue with. I mean, he looks the part that he's supposed to be, and he looks like an American uh, U.S. soldier during World War II. He comes with a Thompson submachine gun, a shovel, backpack, satchel, a uh, revolver. Like I said in the little clip before, uh, the revolver does rotate and turn. I mean, he comes with some accessories, not too much. I mean, just some standard stuff, and I really can't complain. Uh, none of the props were bad. I could put them on the uh, pr character pretty well, so no struggle there. I will admit the uh, little back pouch piece that one was a little bit um of a pain because you gotta kind of like pop it out some and then feed the belt through it just a little bit so it's one of those things that just take the belt off before you put the satchel on don't try to fit the uh, teeth of this prop over the belt while it's on the figure it just doesn't work out for it the backpack's kind of like my uh locker set i mean it's nothing too different than what I got when I got the uh, locker set guy. So, I mean, it's not a bad setup either. So, 
No complaints there. It's just a lightweight piece of hard plastic and you just strap it on your G.I. Joe and he's good to go. I mean another reason why I decided to pick this guy up was just at the simplicity that he looks like a World War II soldier. It It's one of my, I think I did it more for nostalgic because sometimes when I do pick up these figures, sometimes if it's something new that I've never seen in a playset, I pick it up. But some of these mostly, it's like these are ones that remind me of like the action figures I've played with when I was a kid. And the World War II and the Vietnam War soldiers were always like the real popular ones that we always had and whatnot. Personally, I like the World War II setup. It's it's my favorite time era of war. Not saying that war is good, but like when I get a G.I. Joe, I'm I'm more fond of the uh, World War II style soldiers and setups and whatnot. I can't wait to see if I can pick up the uh, British guy and the German guy later on down the road because if they show up on the market I'm definitely going to uh, give them a go and try getting them. I, I really honestly do. I really want to get them because one they've got two different types of guns that are from World War II era. They're my favorite. I don't know what they are but, but I can give a whirl. I feel like the uh, parachute reg regiment is coming with some type of like type 100 looking gun. I'm not 100% sure. Looks like a type 100. And then the German, the uh, Waffen SS, comes with a STG, which is pretty nice. It's the gun before the AK 47, which there's a big history about the STG and the AK 47 saying that, you know. The guy that made the AK-47 copied the STG, but there were some similarities, they said, but not enough to, like, say that it was an exact copy. It was just so coincidentally that, you know, one guy kind of had the same idea as the other guy. That's basically what I heard it boiled down to. But, anyways, back to the toy itself. I'd say it's a really, honestly, it's a good buy. It's a honest deal, and... I'm really curious to know if this is like a new lineup for the World Peacekeeper because if it is, I'd really like to see some other soldiers. You're missing the, um, you've got a lot of soldiers during this era that you could make figures for. You got the Italians, um, you got the Russians, Japanese, there's a lot of other figures you can make if you're going to do a World War II kind of setup. I mean, you could even, you know, I I felt like that was like my personal. I was like, oh man, we only get like three of the out, like three of the main. We only get two of the main people known for World War II. Not saying that the British didn't do anything. I'm just saying it's like, you know, when you think of World War II and stuff. I mean, there's like there's a few good names that pop up, and I'm not trying to be all like gun hole America, but I mean, I know America and. Uh, German were like two of the names that were in the war, but I know the British played a lot in it too. I'm just saying it's like Throughout my life of like knowing World War two and stuff getting to like know it, it's always been like people for some reason remember the Americans the British the British somewhat and then the uh, Germans and the Russians a lot more I mean, that's just what I've noticed, but I mean I have done some studying and there has been like you know some um, proof that you know like the Americans kind of did play off as like you know oh not our war not our war and then we got bombed and then we decided to join in that's how I've seen it perceived as and it kind of makes sense reading back on it but I mean back to the figure and the figure itself I really like it I've been kind of going on a rant and a rave but well, honestly, it's a good buy. It's a good fig figure. I'd definitely say, uh, if you see this, go for it and get it. Uh, this is Sam Burge saying, have a nice day. Please like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And take care.